here's how to use the TI-30XS multi-view to do the Fibonacci formula. So we want to find F sub 8 using the Fibonacci formula, and here's the formula. So I'm going to do F sub 8 equals wherever the big N is. I'm just putting in an 8, and just wherever I see the N, I'm going to put in the 8, so over 2 to the 8th power, 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 to the 8th power. And so that's what I want to calculate, and I'm going to start inside the big parentheses here, and then inside the smaller parentheses and calculate this part first. So I have, I apologize, I've got two ink blots on there that I can't get rid of. So first thing I want to do is the square root of 5. And on this calculator, I believe I can just say 1 plus do the square root. So I'm doing second and then the x squared, which gives me the square root there. Type in 5, and then I'll push Enter. And it's showing it in radical form. And then I'll just divide by 2, and then raise it to the 8th power. And at that point, I get the 46.978 and so on. I want to store that, so I use the STO button with the arrow, store, and then I choose a variable from right above where it says X and all those. I just click X, so I'm going to save this in X, and then Enter. And now that's stored that value in X. And then I'll calculate inside these parentheses next. And so it'll be 1 minus, and the square root again of 5. And I'll push Enter, and take that divided by 2, Enter. And it's showing it kind of in backwards order, but the negative is with the square root of 5, so that's correct, and a positive 1, and then over 2. And then I have to take that to the 8th, so I'm going to use the caret button here for the 2 the, so to the. 8th power, enter, and I get 0 0.02128, and it goes on. I want to store that one in another variable, so I'm going to say store. Press that variable, it tells me x first, but I don't want to use that because I already did, and push it again and I get y. So we'll store that one in y. Push enter to tell it that's where we want it. Now I need to do what's in x minus what's in y. So I'm going to do recall, which I can see I can get by second store button. And it's showing me now my variables and which one's where. So it's really easy to use this store feature. So I do 1. And it takes that number that I had here. And now I say minus. And I want to do what was in Y. So recall again. And it's showing me them again. I can just um, move down with this. This is like a toggle, or I don't know, push down one side and it goes down, push the other and it goes up, see how it goes. And to the right, it doesn't do anything on here. So I go down to 2 and push Enter, and it shows me that value I had for the second variable, the Y here. So then I just say Enter again, and now it actually did the subtractions, I'm hoping. 46, yeah. So I have 46. 0.9787, and it goes on. And then remember, I want to multiply that by 1 over the square root of 5. And that's the same thing as doing the 46.9787 on and on divided by the square root of 5. So that's how I want to use it on the calculator. So I take that value there, divided by, and then the square root of 5. So I can do square root 5, and then enter and it gives me 21. So F sub 8 is 21. And I can double check that. I wrote out the Fibonacci numbers here. So the first is 1, the second is 1. So it was 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. And F sub 8 is 21. So I can verify that one. So now I'm going to clear because I want to start over on a new problem. Find F sub 40 using the Fibonacci formula. So I have the formula here, so I'm going to put F sub 40. So my capital N becomes a 40 here and here as well. 
So I'll have 1 over the square root of 5, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to the 40th power minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to the 40th power. Now to do that on the calculator, same process, I have to work inside the big parentheses first and then within there I want to start inside this set or this set, this set, I'll just do it first because it's on the left, that's why I'm used to it. So remember for this calculator, 1 plus square root of 5, like that, enter, divided by 2, enter, and to the 40th, so to the 40th, and I get 2, 2, 8, 8, and it's a big number, so I'm just going to put dot, 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 and I want to store that, so I'm going to push the store button, store that in X, for example, push enter, and it shows that, put it in X, so I'm going to write that down so I don't forget, and then minus, now this one, I'll do 1 minus the square root of 5, enter, oh, and I think there's a negative under my ink blot. So it's negative square root of 5 plus 1, it changed the order, and then I want to divide by 2, and then raise it to the 40th power, and I get point zero zero, lots of zeros, and then a 4 eventually. I want to save that one in Y, so I'll store, click on the X one more time and I get Y, and then enter to get it to store there. Now I want to take what's in X minus what's in Y, so I'll recall, so second store, and I just enter because it's already on X, and then minus, and then recall again, bump it down with the arrow to the second one, push enter, enter one more time to do the calculation, I have 228826, and so on. And the last thing, remember, divide by square root of 5. So that number divided by, put in second and the x squared button to get the square root of 5, enter, and f sub 40, Therefore, 1, 0, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 5, 5.